but you know, most people are not concerned with electrical theory because it doesn't stick money in their pocket. Even people that are electrical engineers, you know, they know how to fix stuff, they're taught how to, you know, do this, do that. Yeah, they, they don't care about electrical or field theory. Now, specifically, AC generator, doesn't matter if it's a DC generator. Um, of course, left with the notion that it either um, wind or water or uh, steam turbine in the case of a nuclear power plant, we're actually uh, changing uh, mechanomotive force into electromotive force, right? With stator, magnetic field, dielectric reflector. And the real question remains is that, you know, the big thing that actually uh, stupefies humanity in most cases is they have descriptions for things but no explanation. Specifically, since we're talking about non-contact, I wonder if we could entertain a notion that you're first going to call me an insane heretic for, but then possibly go slightly deeper down the rabbit hole intellectually on your behalf, and ask yourself the question, does an AC generator, whether it's driven by steam or wind or uh, water, does it actually generate power directly? Why, well, sure it does. This is Tesla's invention. This is the AC generator. Hmm... Is there actually any component that actually creates power in the case of just a simplex um, AC generator? Or is it the case that uh, we're creating um, a perturbation uh, in the uh, inertia vis-a-vis -vis torsion? Of course, nothing directly comes out of an AC generator. Well, certainly power does at uh, X number of voltage and amperage. Um, efficiency of the generator, talk about the stator, when you talk about whether it's a, a four phase, let's not get into the technical stuff that will confuse people. Let's just talk about a simplex AC generator as powered by water or steam or wind. There's no contact, so there's no actual direct transference of the mechanomotive force into electromotive power generation. Not for the magnets, not from the stator. So what are we actually talking about? Now we think, well, and this is the case that we can use, for example, in the case of power transmission, in Niagara Falls, we have water creating a mechanomotive force, which as a result into the AC generators, the gigantic ones, very beautiful system, are creating an electromotive force. And at the other end, some guy flips a switch and it transfers into mechanomotive force again. Say he turns on his fan, you know, because it's really hot outside. So we actually have a transference of mechanomotive into electromotive, and then electromotive is tapped off on the uh, power lines and transformers, and ultimately someone flips a switch, and we uh, either generate more uh, electromotive uh, uh, power generation through illumination. Let's just say a fan. We actually have another motor, which is... Uh, tapping power off to uh, create electromagnetomotive, uh, uh, mechanomotive uh, force again. Mechanomotive force is not transferred into the electromotive current production. There is no direct causality, specifically if you want to get into nitpicks. There is no direct causality between the moving conductor from mechanomotive means, water flowing, wind flowing, nuclear steam turbine, now, this is where you're going to call me a heretic and an insane, fat, bald, tattooed lunatic. But this is just because you're not thinking at all. Just hold on a minute. And the generation of said power, electromotive force. Mechanomotive force applied to the rotor does not generate power unless applied in the presence of a non-contact stator magnetic field. What exactly is going on since there is not direct transference of that magnetomotive, excuse me, that the mechanomotive force into the creation of electromotive force in the case of power generation a la the AC generator in simplex. Is this the part where you're going to call me a heretic and a lunatic? Sure there is. We start to drive it stator current power generation. Really? I mean, is that the case that the actual mechanomotive force is somehow passed into something and is converted into electromotive power generation? That doesn't occur in any AC generator on Earth. If that's the case, then where is the power coming from? Of course, that, that, that's obvious, but uh, 
there's no direct causality like uh, billiards hitting on the table. Well, billiard A, which would be mechanomotive force, hits billiard B, which is electromotive force, and here we have power generation. We're not talking about like a chain reaction in a nuclear or fission or fusion where uranium nuclei are hitting other uranium nuclei, and we end up with a chain reaction of uh, the release of power. There is no direct causality between the uh, mechanomotive force and the electromotive power generation. All energy release of the electromotive current is due to field torsion with a temporal variable of change applied to the static field hypostases or hypostasis depending on how you want to pronounce it. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Hypostases with a resultant manifestation of electromotive power generation. I'm pausing intentionally. The rest inertia is the hypostases or hypostasis of the ether, of counter space. I don't care what you want to call it. We could apply any sort of pathetic term you want to a counter space or the inertia plane from whence all power generation occurs. A change in that inertia necessitates the loss of inertia resultant in the electromotive current generation, i.e. power generation. There is no direct causal link between the mechanomotive force and the electromotive release or creation. Let's say if you want to say release or creation of energy. Correctly would be stating, well, actually both are correct, say creation and release. In the case of any AC generator, is there actually anything coming out of it? We can't think in terms of atomism. If there were actually something, and this of course is not how people technically think, in the case of an AC generator, and some of them have been operating nearly you know, 70 plus years with very little downtime to fix some worn parts, like on bearings, nothing is being released out of there on the atomistic scale. We're talking about spontaneous generation of power through a temporal variable change in the inertial plane of the torsion of the dielectric reflector. I'm talking about the magnets and the stator field, whether four phase or otherwise. There is no direct causal link between the mechanomotive force created vis a vis water or steam or wind into the creation of electromotive force in any AC generator. The only thing the mechanomotive force is doing is turning a stator relative to a magnetic field. There is no direct conversion, absolutely none, between the mechanomotive force and the power generation. There is no conversion. We're talking about non-contact. We're not talking about, like, say, if you apply like a, uh, a windmill. A windmill, of course, is used to uh, grind grain into flour so you can make bread. Well, the wind is driving the uh, blades on the windmill, which is in turn turning a giant grist mill, and you pour in the grain. We're talking about direct contact. We have direct causation. The wind is driving this, which is driving a uh, wooden axle, as it was, you know, back in the day. Still, some of them still exist. And making direct contact, stone between stone, this 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 is this is direct conversion. There is no causality or direct conversion between mechanomotive force and power generation in an AC generator. There is none. The only thing that is occurring is that we're creating a temporal variable upon which torsion is created. And that torsion in the inertia, in the ether, of the geometry of the AC generator is power generation. That power generation, of course, is none other than the release of energy from counter space. It amazes me that in each and every book that you will read on an AC generator or power generation, mechanomotive force is in the stator against the rotating magnetic field, transferred or exchanged, they'll use the word exchanged, or converted um, into power generation. There is no direct causal between those two. What we were setting up here is a field torsion, but the actual mechanomotive force in no way, shape, or form is being transformed. It's not like we're talking about a caterpillar to a butterfly. 
One thing is causing something else to happen. There is a direct chain of cause. It's one entity. We're not talking about bumping billiard balls, where if you actually apply mechanomotive force to this ball, and then it hits another ball, which is electromotive force that's flying off in another direction, we have got it. That's not occurring in any AC generator. Why is it that nobody writes about this stuff? Why is it that nobody discusses this stuff? The causal link between the two is non-existent. You cannot argue by any way, shape, or means that mechanomotive force creates power. The power applied is to create a condition of torsion between two field modalities, one of which being, of course, a dielectric reflector for the creation of energy. We're creating a torsion. Just like somebody actually flipping, uh, flipping a rope, which is actually creating power. We're actually inducing current. We're inducing it torsion. But in this case, there's no direct. That's actually a poor analogy because that mechanomotive force is uh, merely uh, being exchanged from uh, one's wrist, for example, into another mechanomotive force, which is the movement of the rope. So that's a uh, highly inefficient analogy. So I have to apologize for that one. I, I think about the easiest analogy that I could think is that if you called up some random stranger and then you said something really, really heinous to that person, um, that it would set up a condition in their mind upon which they would act and do something drastic. <laughs> like, I don't know, <laughs> hunt you down or something like that. There is no direct, you know, mere words spoken. There is no direct connection between the two. A condition is set up where in which you would say something which would create a condition in another person's mind, say on the other side of the earth, on the other telephone, in which they would do something. But there is no direct causal between those two. We know that if this condition is applied, a resultant condition or effect will manifest, but the causality between the two is unconnected. Not on any level is it connected. It's not connected on uh, any uh, physical level. There's certainly uh, no exchange of matter between a non-contact uh, field rotation and uh, creation of electromotive force. So I actually dare you to even think about that, that mechanomotive force from steam or nuclear or a wind is in no way, shape, or form transferred into electromotive force generation. Direct causality is non-existent in that case. We're using the condition of creating a field torsion, which is assisted by the mechanomotive force, but mechanomotive force is not somehow exchanged into power generation. And no matter how much you complain, against that you would still be incorrect. Devils in the details, isn't that what they say? Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice week. Happy New Year. And I guess I'll see you at the Energy and Science Conference in July 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th in Hayden, Idaho. Bye.